to what the U.S. has said to Iran. Well, the U.S. has said it will impose sanctions aimed at Iran's missile and drone program, as well as the Revolutionary Guard and Defense Ministry in the next few days, and expects its allies to also follow suit in the wake of Iran's attack over the weekend. The U.S. National Security Advisor made the announcement on the same day that the Germans said it expected concerted EU sanctions in this regard as the allies actually rushed to punish Iran economically while urging Israel not to launch military reprisals that could ignite an all-out war. Jake Sullivan also said that a regional air defense and early warning system would be expanded to help defend against future attacks. In Washington, though, State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said the U.S. will continue to try to de-escalate the conflict. Here's what Mr. Miller said. This was clearly an escalatory act, the launching of 300 missiles and drones from Iranian soil directly targeted at the state of Israel. And so what we're going to continue to do is try to de-escalate the, the conflict. Um, uh, but I, as long as the war in Gaza continues, we're not going to be back at the place we were before October 7th. It is an ongoing process of trying to keep um, uh, tensions in the region, uh, to reduce tensions in the region and try to maintain as much calm as possible, knowing that there is an ongoing conflict that obviously exacerbates tensions uh, in Israel and around the region.